Hey guys, I thought I would do just a good old fashioned haul today. I've placed a bunch of orders. I've been just really excited about a lot of new releases that have been coming out. So I've been placing a lot of orders all over the place, Selfridges, Sephora, Nordstrom, yeah, just a whole bunch of places. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I do have some PR and I have been basically leaving my PR for my vlogs just to kind of throw them in here and there. I didn't want to do just like PR hauls anymore, but I do have a couple of things that I've received in PR and I just figured I'd throw them in, but I'll throw them in at the end and you can always just click off if that's not your thing. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you uh, the things that I've purchased. Okay, whoa. <laughs> First up, I ordered the Westman Atelier iPods in, I think it's Rendezvous, right? It's the one, yes, Rendezvous. And I purchased this off of Sephora. I was really excited to see it there. And I, you guys, I just love these iPods. So there are three shades and these are all magnetized. So here are the three pods all together. And the three different colors here, this is like a very yellow gold. This is more of like, I'll say this is like a 22 karat gold. This is like a 14 karat gold. And then this is like a beigey nude. So frappe is what's in the deep gold color, the 22 karat gold case. Ooh, so pretty. A deep satin brown. And then we have bisou in the beigey colored pod. This is a beautiful like satin peach. This is almost identical to my skin color. So it's right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then in the lighter 14 karat gold case is Bon Bon Chance. This is that green khaki color. And there it is. They all have the same finish. They all have like a really pretty soft satin finish. And I love these colors. I'm so excited. I love these iPods. They just go on so, so beautifully and they wear really well. And I find that most of the colors in all three of the little pods can be like one or done shadows, like depending on what look you're going for. So I'm really excited. And please let me know down below in the comment section, you know, anything that I talk about uh, in today's video that you would like me to include in a trying new makeup or a dedicated video or whatever, please let me know. Okay, I'm kind of losing track of where I purchased what, cause I kind of consolidated all the boxes into one, but I'm pretty sure I got these off of Sephora as well. So Tom Ford, has come out with new Gloss Lux shades. And I really like this Gloss Lux uh, formula. So this one is called In the Buff, and I was really excited for this one. Look how beautiful that is. Just a, like a light, light nude with some gold shimmers in there. Ooh, I love it. So there is In the Buff. God, I just love lip glosses like this. I don't know why. It's like emperor's clothing makeup. <laughs> I just love it so much. Um, so that is one shade. And then the other shade I purchased is number 24, Honeyed Coral. I think there's like another, another new shade possibly. I'm not sure. It's always hard to tell with Tom Ford. I feel like they sneak these out and I'm like, is that a new color or is it just new packaging? I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is number 24, Honeyed Coral. This actually doesn't look very coral to me. So here is Honeyed Coral. Yeah, that's like a nice pink. I wouldn't describe this as coral at all. All right, so those are the two Gloss Luxes that I got from Tom Ford. And then I made a purchase from Saks Fifth Avenue. So they had some really fun holiday collections start to pop up on their site. So I like quick grab the new Givenchy Prism Libre Highlighter, limited edition, this is in shade number 10, Organza Ore. Ooh, it's so beautiful. It's like the size of the blushes versus the powders, which are bigger. And then there's a silver mirrored top. Ooh, so pretty. So looks like there's two different like shades. There's two going this way that's like a gold. And then these two, which are like a pink. All right, I'm picking up a little bit of this product on my finger to swatch for you guys. Ooh, oh my gosh. Look at that shine. Whoa, I was not expecting that. <laughs> that is really beautiful. Wow, and very, very festive. Is that coming off on camera? I can't tell in my viewfinder anymore. It's like too far away from me, but wow. 
That's gorgeous. All right, so that is the uh, Givenchy Highlighter Limited Edition. I hope it's still around. Um, and then I purchased this Limited Edition Highlighter from Clay de Po. This is part of their um, holiday collection. And this is the box that it came in. And this is the packaging. Isn't that so gorgeous? So I've been using this. I like ripped this open and started using it. I love these luminizing face enhancers. This is what the product looks like. This is a really beautiful highlight as well. It's pretty much the exact opposite as that Givenchy. It is a really soft kind of satin, pearly, cool toned highlight. And it's, it's just gorgeous. And this packaging is incredible. Look at the little sheep. Love it. Love it so much. And then I've already gotten rid of the box and the little string that goes through this because it's so big and bulky. But I did pick up a new Christian Louboutin lip gloss because I don't, I don't know that these are, I don't think these are new at all, but I just had never seen this one before. Look how pretty that is. Let me do a swatch. So this is shade number 150L. I'll put exactly like the name of the gloss and the name of the shade, because like I said, I threw everything away. But this is such a fun, like micro glittery, color shifty, corally pink kind of lip gloss. It's right here. So, so pretty. It actually reminds me of a Guerlain lip gloss from Holiday, maybe two or three years ago that I've had to declutter because it was too old. Um, it reminded me of that, and I love that one. It was just so pretty. Like, you could use it by itself. You could use it over lip liner. You could use it over lipstick, and it just added, like, that little sparkle if you wanted it. So that is this Louboutin lip gloss. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and speaking of Louboutin lip gloss, so when I did my last Will I Buy It, I mentioned a couple of like the Louboutin like refillable lipsticks. And after I filmed that, I was like, you know, I should go back onto Selfridges and see if anything came back in stock. Well, <laughs> some things did come back in stock. So I ended up getting two of the cases. I really want the blush colored one, but that was still out of stock. So I got the red which is in this box. Isn't this so beautiful? I love this like red enameled look. It really is just so fun. So here is the red one. And then I did also get the yellow one. Oh, so much fun. And then I got three different refills. So I already forget what I ordered. Let me see. I got shade Peach Cabaret. Actually I have to stick it into one of the cases so that I can twist it up. So I'm gonna put this one in the red one. Okay, so here is Peach Cabaret. And let me do a swatch of that. So here is Peach Cabaret. And I'm trying to find out the name of this. So this is Rouge Louboutin, the So Glow <laughs> lip color. And uh, just a quick note about these cases, this base part is really heavy and it's metal. This top is kind of like cheap plastic. This is very, very light and feels a little chintzy, but this kind of makes up for the weight of it. Uh, but just wanted to point that out. Um, let's see, I also purchased the shade Orange Euphoria, of course, and I just put it into the yellow case. So here is Orange Euphoria. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. This looks very similar to, yeah, all the other, <laughs> bright reddish orange colors that I have. Oh, that's stunning. Beautiful. And then the third shade that I got, and I'm going to have to switch out one of the refills because I can't, I can't actually raise up the lipstick without sticking it in there. It doesn't have, I would need like a mechanism basically. So this last shade is beige curtain. So let me take out this Peach Cabaret, and they just pop in and out. So I'm just gonna stick that in. Ooh, beautiful beigey color. Wow. Ooh, this was a good one. This was a good pick. Ooh, there's beige curtain. Ooh, so those are the three shades that I got. And these are the two cases that I got. Oh, I really can't wait to get my hands on that blush, which is why I got a third refill, so. When I do get it, it'll have a lipstick. And then while I was on the Selfridges site, I noticed that Byredo came out with some 
new lipsticks. I think these are like shimmering nudes. And I got the shade Amber in Furs and comes in this little B by Rado pouch. And the case is just like the other lipsticks. It has that slight curve to it. And then the base is silver, the top is gold. And here is the shade. Let me do a quick swatch. I really like the formula of these by Rado lipsticks. Ooh, yeah, it's like a metallic nude. Ooh, pretty, really pretty. I'm trying to figure out if there are like micro glitters in there or if it's just like a metallic sheen. I think it's just a metallic sheen. So pretty, ooh, wow. I got a lot of lip products, didn't I? Yeah, the Tom Ford, the Louboutin, this. Oh, and I got a little more. So um, I placed an order also on Nordstrom because yeah, this was all after my will I buy it. I was like, I really want, <laughs> really want to pick up those Hermes lipsticks that I had mentioned, I think, in a few Will I Buy It videos. Um, and the one shade, well, one of the shades that I wanted was sold out, but I did manage to get Orange Brulee, another, <laughs> another beautiful orange color. <laughs> Let's see if it's uh, similar to the Louboutin shade that I just got. So typical Hermes packaging comes in the orange box and then the little dust bag. Here is the outer case. Ooh, so fun. Oh no, this is much darker and it's a matte finish. So this is like a burnt orange. Ooh, oh nice. Well, it's, it's brighter, I think, once you swatch it than you see in the bullet. But it has, I would say more red than orange. It's like a tomato red. Ooh, beautiful. Um, and then the other shade that I got is Rose Tamase, and here is the packaging for that. Oh, so pretty. Wow, I think I'm getting confused with like what was in stock and what wasn't. So the, the three colors that Hermes came out with, one was like a bright fuchsia, and I, I, you know, I didn't want, even though I, you know, it's a beautiful color, but I'm like, I'm just not gonna wear it as much as the other two. And I thought when I went on to Nordstrom, the orange and the bright fuchsia were the only two available and I just went ahead and got them. But actually I got the one shade that I was, uh, the other shade that I was really interested in, which is in this kind of cool, cool mauvey tone, really gray based. My bullet is smushed though. It's like some of it ended up <laughs> in the cap there. Oh well. Ooh. Pretty. Ooh, pretty. It's really cool toned. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, this color is gonna be really great with those cranberry palettes that have been coming out. Really pretty. All right, so, wow. This, I should just call this a lipstick haul. Um, a lot of lipsticks here. All right, and then one last thing I purchased myself. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. When I saw this being released, I think it was just like a VIP pre-sale, one of those things. I like rushed, rushed and got this. So, I went ahead and got two eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I got the very large instant eye palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This was another one I mentioned in my Will I Buy It? And I was like, yes, I'm going to buy it. And ooh, I just love this like black with like a subtle gold glitter in there. And I was just really taken by these colors. I love this situation down here, this like pinky metallic shade just is really calling my name. Ooh, it's like a rose gold. Wow, I just swatched a lot. These shadows are on the softer side. <laughs> That's that color at the end there. And then these green ones are just, you know, I just love green. And then these, I love these shades too because they're so ethereal looking like this pink one. That's pretty. It's like a peachier, sorry, it's like a peachier version of this one. Ooh, wow, so very excited for this palette. And then I had to grab this luxury palette of pearls. The name of this palette is Celestial Pearl. Oh, look how pretty that cover is. It looks like Mother of Pearl inlaid. Ooh, we've got three pressed powder shadows and then one baked gelée. This one on the top right-hand corner is like a baked gelée. Ooh, that's one of the shades. The formula of these seem a little bit softer than that bigger palette. That bigger palette seemed like uh, it was a little harder pressed. I'll have to inspect further. This is the Bake Chalet one. Oh, wow, look at that. Ooh, pretty. 
Okay, definitely cannot wait to dig into these two palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. All right, so those are the, all right, so that's everything I purchased myself. Let me go ahead and dig into the two PR packages. So this will be quick. So this one is from, ooh, it's from Chantecaille. Ooh, this is very exciting. Look at this box. Oh, that is so beautiful. And whoa, okay. We've got an eye cajole. Here are the two luminescent eye shades, which I've already featured on my channel because I already got them. Um, and then here are the five lip cheeks. So the eye cajole in black. I think um, they used to have a like silk infused, like luster glide pencil. And I love those. I thought they were beautiful. They wore really, really well. And I think um, because they're silk infused, they wanted to they wanted to kind of get rid of that ingredient. So they basically reformulated their eyeliners and they've come out with these eye cajoles. So this one is black. I can't get the cap off. Oh, ooh, the tip came off. Okay. <laughs> It happens, it happens. Let me try, wow, that's really black. Let me get that back in there. But here is the eye cajole. This is so soft and pigmented. Can you guys see that black? <laughs> wow, that's insane. I can't wait to try this and see how it wears. Like, does it smear or anything? Ooh, wow, that's like incredible, okay. So that is the new eye cajol. And you guys have seen the luminescent eye shades a, a couple of times now. So I will keep those in the box in here. And then let me take all this off my hand. I have black eyeliner everywhere now. And then let me take all of these lip cheeks out of the boxes and then we'll swatch them all. All right, so I cannot say for sure <laughs> out of these five, which are the two newer shades because I feel like three of these names uh, seem new to me and I'm not even sure about the other two. Anyway, let's start with the one that comes in the royal blue case. This is Jarul, J-A-R-U-L. And again, this is their Lip Chic Formula. Ooh, that's such a pretty rose. And I do feel like I see some micro glitters in there, which is very exciting. The second shade is Honeysuckle. This name definitely sounds familiar to me. So I think maybe this is not a new shade. And this is a beautiful, like everyday, your lips but better kind of color. Damask, which is like a wine color and it comes in the purple packaging. There is Damask. Excuse that sloppy swatch. I was trying to swatch over like my hand bone, which is not a good idea. But that's a really beautiful wine shade. And then next we have Red Juniper. And this, I believe, is uh, not a new shade. So here's Red Juniper, really beautiful red with a little bit of blue in there. And then finally, we have Latana, which is in the orange case. And I'll swatch this underneath. So this has a beautiful peachy coral tint to it. So those are the five shades, so beautiful. And this Lip Chic formula is so good. I just love all the Chantecaille lipsticks. The Lip Chic, the Lip Veils, as you guys know, I just love. They're all just really moisturizing and comfortable. So the finish on these Lip Chics, I think you guys can see, it's like this really kind of glossy, satiny, glossy kind of finish. It's really, really beautiful. The Lip Veils are a little bit shinier, like a little bit, a little bit more like moisturizing looking. Well, a huge thank you to Chantecaille for this gorgeous package. I, God, it's so beautiful. Thank you so, so much. And I feel like I need to do like a new luxury lipstick video. I have so much. Okay, uh, moving on to the last package here. And this is from Sisley. And I think I mentioned this um, again in my Will I Buy It video. I guess that really prompted me to get some makeup. But they just came out with a new... Uh, foundation and it's their Fito Tent Nude and this is officially launching in the US on October 1st but they sent me 
uh, three shades. And I, and I mentioned on my Will I Buy It that I really wanted to buy this. And when I was thinking about purchasing it, I actually got an email from Cicely saying they were sending this to me. So, so grateful. Huge thank you to Cicely, as always, for sending over your new stuff. So I have 2N, 2W1, and 2C. Let me just open up 2N, which is ivory beige, so we can see the bottle and everything. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at this cute little bottle. So we've got one fluid ounce, 30 mils, and then the top is really neat too. It's this like white plastic, but cut out. The S is cut out, really neat. And then this is a plastic squeezy tube. And oh, we've got like a little bit of like a dropper top there. So let me shake this up. I'm really curious what the texture is like. Oh, sounds quite liquidy. Oh yeah, definitely very thin texture. Ooh, nice. Ooh, it's very like soft in texture. Water infused second skin foundation. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think I may be a 2C. That, well, again, let me know if there's anything you would like a dedicated video to. I think this could be interesting. This 2N is, I think on the warmer side. So we'll definitely have to see what else they sent me and play around. Um, but that is my haul today. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. It's always fun to like open up boxes and show you what I purchased. So let me know again down below in the comment section what you would like me to feature alone, feature in a trying new makeup where I just kind of put everything together. If you would like a luxury lipstick try on, we can do that as well because I got a lot. I got a lot right here. Uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.